This room is a mess. Let me, the shabby chic, show you how you can transform your home to something unique that really says you, that nobody will ever forget. Remember my motto, chic and you shall find. Or is it cheat and you'll get fined? Or is it three sheets on this line? Oh, I don't know. Let's start out with our couch. Here's what I found at a really cheap place, the county dump. Now with just a little imagination and a little magic, we can make this sofa a stunning focal part of our room. All we need is delousing powder, a hydraulic power washer, some TNT, 16 feet of imported rosewood, 50 yards of imperial Chinese antique silk, Austrian garnet and crystal beads, French 16th century embroidery floss, and a factory of 25 underpaid skilled Chinese and lily workers, and we are off. Let's take a look at how we transformed our room to the stunning new result. First, we need some cardboard boxes. Put them just under our stock Rancho Cordova utility apartment windows with semi-functional blinds. Toss a couple of vintage Kern County garage sale perfectly faded pillows. And voila! We have a perfectly lovely window seat. Notice we have kept the printing on the box visible for that bohemian soho boho so so I got this at the corner Safeway look. To keep the theme going in the room, we added a few more stacked boxes in the left corner to balance the effect. A vintage suitcase with airline tags left attached makes a nice addition to any room and doubles duty as a display stand for our souvenir 2000 Millennium Y2K Bug Doll. The casualness of our dresser top adds to the natural I don't spend a moment tidying this room theme. Notice little touches, like we use dental floss intermingled with car keys and chewing gum wrappers. Notice our drapes. They have that homespun feel. And notice the casual touches again. They hang just so. And the effect is achieved by ripping the top seam on the left panel only, so it hangs two inches lower on the left side. The peel is carried out by two straw gardening hats from Kmart. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the segment of the Shabby Chic. And just tune in again next time so I can make a little magic in your house, in your room. Goodbye!